So as far as spoilers go, I'm going to follow Deadpool's advice and zip it with maximum effort. So for anybody concerned who clicked on this video, you're safe with me. For a lot of geeks, including myself, Sean Levy's Deadpool and Wolverine was the most hyped movie of the calendar year. And for good reason, it is the only time the MCU is going to grace their presence for us in the theater. And of all movies to select to be your only hit this year, I'm glad it's this one. Deadpool and Wolverine, the crossover that I never thought I would see, the R-rated movie from a Disney property that I thought I would never see in my lifetime at all. Like, honestly, seeing a Marvel Studios signature right before a Deadpool movie, like, I, I still can't believe I saw that. So in this movie, the TVA pulls Deadpool, once again played by Ryan Reynolds, from his quiet life and sets him on a mission to save his universe. All while he collides with a Wolverine variant, once again played by Hugh Jackman from another universe in the process, leading to one of the biggest crossovers that we thought we would never get. And yeah, I think it's safe to say ever since Avengers Endgame, the MCU has been in a bit of a slump. I'm one of those hopefuls who has seen the greatness in the MCU post-Endgame, especially in this multiverse saga. I've loved a good chunk of the TV shows they've put out, like Loki and Moon Knight. And as far as their movies go, the hits are a few and far between. I love Shang-Chi. Spider-Man No Way Home is still one of my favorite MCU projects to this very day. Then Guardians of the Galaxy 3 came out last year and I absolutely adored that. But aside from that, the quality has taken a bit of a dip. And I was very, very afraid that when Deadpool stepped into this universe, eventually Disney was really going to shackle him. Oh, <sighs> and I'm so glad to say that this movie honors Deadpool in the best way possible. It honors Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in the best way possible. <laughs> It's everything I want a movie involving Deadpool and Wolverine to be, guys. <laughs> this movie made me very, 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 very happy. And I'm not just sitting here trying to fanboy or anything like that. Like, I adore the MCU with all of my heart. I have been rooting so hard for them to get out of this so-called rut that they're in, especially since the multiverse saga began. And Deadpool and Wolverine, I think, is the shot in the arm that they needed. And bless every single talent that was involved in this project. And again, not going to spoil every single name that's in this movie, but prepare to be amazed because this movie is chock full of surprises. And bless Ryan Reynolds' heart so much because he wanted to bring honor to this character ever since they did him so dirty back in 2009. He was such a big fan of the Deadpool comics himself. He wanted to bring justice to that character. He did so in 2016 in what I think is one of the greatest superhero origin stories of the past decade. So I think it's safe to say with this threequel, Ryan Reynolds absolutely deserves his flowers. And also I will say the suit is definitely an upgrade here. I think the production design and the costume design team here, they deserve massive kudos. And Ryan Reynolds' performance, again, he's great physically. He's great with the comedy. Like, he just gets Wade Wilson. Hugh Jackman as well definitely understands the assignment. I never thought in a million years I would see this guy don the classic yellow and blue Wolverine suit. He does it. He looks jacked out the gills. And oh my god, Hugh Jackman just might have been the heart and soul of this movie. When he's introduced in this thing, and once you start to learn more about what this variant has gone through, it's heartbreaking. It's like, oh my god, it just brings tears to your eyes, especially as you get deeper into the third act. And this movie can be so heartwarming too. Like, at its core, yes, Deadpool and Wolverine is a scathing commentary, especially on the status of superhero movies today. Especially as it goes with the multiverse and with the MCU. Deadpool makes a lot of jokes about that. But this is also a very heartfelt love letter to what 20th Century Fox brought to the comic book world. And yes, the merger is addressed. And let's talk about this script as well. Again, I'm sure a lot of people were concerned that because Disney's name was on this thing, Deadpool was just going to be absolutely like, pfft, like you couldn't even recognize him. Like they were going to once upon a Deadpool him. No, this movie is absolutely rated R. It is extremely vulgar. Lots of F-bomb 
comes thrown into the mix. Lots of blood. It is very brutal. The action sequences are non-stop here. Sean Levy does a beautiful job directing this movie. And you definitely have a sense that everybody just has so much fun making this movie. And Sean Levy has worked with Ryan Reynolds on a handful of projects, especially over the last five years. Free Guy comes to mind. That was a great, very entertaining movie. And Deadpool and Wolverine absolutely follows in the footsteps of that level of entertainment. As far as being an ultimate game changer, does this change the trajectory of the MCU? Does it change the multiverse in any huge way? It definitely introduces Deadpool and Wolverine to this world. Maybe a little bit too late, according to Wade Wilson. But I wouldn't say it's on the level of No Way Home game changing in terms of the drastic shifts that this makes to the comic book movie genre. Or let alone to the MCU. Again, no spoilers. The surprises you get are extremely satisfying. And I think in terms of the overall content and what the MCU can actually present and what their limitations are... All bets are off now. Now that they've put a rated R movie out into theaters, that's why this is a game changer. Because if you were to ask me 10 years ago if I thought that the Marvel Studios logo would be in front of a Deadpool movie, I would have told you you were absolutely f***ing nuts. But damn it. Damn it, we got one. And it's everything you want a Deadpool movie to be. It's rated R. It's bloody. It's everything that you could possibly ask for. Hugh Jackman is also throwing F-bombs in here. It is just... Deadpool, like... This movie... This movie ruled. This movie was so freaking awesome. Great production value. Great performances. Especially from your two leads who have phenomenal chemistry together, might I add. Not only are their jabs extremely funny... It really does feel like a Lethal Weapon style buddy cop movie. And it is just so much fun to watch them. You can tell that both guys have wanted this for a long, long time. Like, I remember when this was first announced on Twitter. I believe during the pandemic or shortly after the pandemic. And I was like, there's no way. There's no way they're actually doing this. God damn it. They did it, guys. This movie is easily top three in the MCU post Endgame. I'm so happy to say that it deserves to be involved in that conversation with No Way Home and Guardians 3. Deadpool and Wolverine absolutely ruled. Now if I were to nitpick anything at all about this movie and honestly it isn't even really that big of an issue for me but yeah the first 20 minutes can feel a little bit slower compared to everything else but even still that first 20 minutes follows the Deadpool formula, the classic Deadpool formula of storytelling that you've come to know in the previous two Deadpool flicks. You know, you kind of see him in a sticky situation at first, and then he has to catch you up over the course of 15 minutes on what's been going on in his life. And even still, the slow parts in Deadpool and Wolverine are incredibly entertaining. Like I said, it's not even really an issue to me. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. It absolutely lives up to the hype. And it is a drastic statement movie from the MCU to say they're back. As if they weren't already. I'm going to give Deadpool and Wolverine an A+. <laughs> See, I did it. No real big spoilers. No real big spoilers on the surprises. But there will be a live stream in a couple weeks. I haven't pinned down a date as to when I'm going to do that. I'm going to start reaching out to some of my colleagues to say if they want to join in on the fun. And I hope you guys can join us there as well. And let me know what you thought of Deadpool and Wolverine down in the comment section below. If you guys have seen it yet. If you guys have managed to avoid spoilers up to this point. And let me know also if this is your favorite overall X-Men movie. Your favorite Deadpool movie. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've only seen the movie one time. I need to watch it again to really see if I think this is better than the original Deadpool, which is a really, really tough bar to pass. But I love discussing all new things in the cinematic world over here on the regular. If you've stumbled upon this channel for the very first time today, do consider subscribing. Tap on that thumbs up as well. That would be a huge help. The summer blockbuster season is just about wrapping up through this month of August. We still got a few big releases that we got to cover. And I'm also going to be filming my 2024 Blu-ray collection video over this next week or so. I can't freaking wait to bring that to you. Lots to look forward to and much more, guys. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much so much again for tuning in and please keep the spoilers to yourself i don't want to see any spoilers down in the comments for another couple weeks so with all that being said back talk commence <laughs>